Hello guys and welcome to a new video of the JavaFX 8 tutorial and today's video is the second part of the menu bar uh, lessons okay so let's start and let's go to the first slide okay so here's the first slide and well as you can remember we have the menu bar and then we have the, uh, a class called menu item and this menu item class is the one that we use in order to add menus and options to, to our menu bar. So under this menu item class we have the menu class. And the menu class is uh, the class that we use to add menus. These menus here for example to our menu bar. Okay so uh, there is another or there are another uh, classes that we can use. And they are under the menu item class as well. So for example, we can use a check menu item, a radio menu item, a custom menu item, and under this class we have a separator, separator menu item. Okay, so these are only different styles of options that we can add under our menu uh, menus inside the, the menu bar. Okay, so also I want to mention, and I would like to mention, that we have a toggle group. And a toggle group is necessary in order to create uh, a, a series of options. For example, here with the radio menu item, and, uh, we can add different radio menu item. Uh, and using the toggle group, we can um, make that these uh, options are only uh, that the user can only select one at a time. Okay, um, using the toggle group. We are saying to the application or to the to these options inside this group that only one option can be selected uh, at a time at each time. Okay, so that's how we use the toggle group, and that's why we use the toggle group. So let's go to NetBeans. Okay, here we are in NetBeans, and well, I'm using the same application as the previous video, but I only am adding uh, uh, another menu called Format, as you can see here, Format. Okay, and then I'm adding uh, the options with this uh, with these different classes, the options, and also adding a toggle group as well. Okay, so I'm going to show you the final result. Okay, so here's the application, and I have added this menu format. Okay, so inside this menu we have three we have three options and one sub menu. Okay, the three options here are uh, check menu items. This means that I can select one or more than one of them at the same time and I'll select them as you can see. Okay. And then we have a submenu called font and inside of it we have radio menu items. Okay. So these two options here are inside a toggle group and this makes that these options are uh, uh, are only uh, can only be selected one at a time. For example, I have this one here selected, this Comic Sans, and if I click on the other option, okay, only this Berlin Sans font is will be selected. Okay, so that's how I use, or that's why I use a toggle group with a radio menu items. Okay, and then we have here a text field, and this is a custom menu item. Okay, so I'm gonna explain how you can do this in a, in a little in, in a few moments. Okay, so and the last thing that I want to show you here is that this line here, this line here uh, between font and underline, this is the menu, uh, the separator menu item. Okay, you can add this uh, separator, uh, you know, in the position that you want inside the, the menu. Okay, so let's go to the code and try to explain this these concepts. Okay, so first, uh, first of all, we are adding the format menu. And inside of it, we want three check menu items. Okay, we use the class check menu item, and uh, we use the constructor in order in order to add the name of this option. Okay, so here we have three of them, and then we can um, uh, set, you know, the the selection or the selected property to true in order to by the default, uh, you know, select the option. And that we want to be selected. In this one, in this case, we want the check number one. We want it to be selected at the beginning of the uh, of the application. Okay. So then 
we are adding the submenu, the submenu font here and inside of it we want two radio menu items and if we uh, if we don't use a toggle group this radio menu item will uh, will behave as the same as the check menu item so that's the reason why I I am creating here uh, a toggle group okay so we have two radio menu items with the class radio menu item and here are the, the labels that we want those options and then we are creating the toggle group okay with the class toggle group and then using the options the radio menu op uh, objects we are going to use the method set toggle group and inside of this toggle group uh, this method, sorry, we're gonna pass the toggle group that we have created here in this line. Okay, so we are using the the, the second radio menu item, and we are setting the toggle group as the toggle group that we created here. Okay, so inside this toggle group, we have these two options, and then we can, you know, set the selector property for one of these radio menu items the radio number one will be sel uh, the selected property will be set to true and this means that will this will be the uh, proper uh, the radio menu selected by default okay then we have the custom menu item the custom menu item or the idea of the custom menu item is that you can place another node another object of the uh, object of the class node of type node inside a menu okay so we use the custom menu item class and then inside the constructor we can you know create an instance of another node in this case a text field but it can be a, a button or another uh, node that we we want and inside of this menu you can place this this node so this is a text field and we can type uh, here uh, information okay it is uh, it is important to mention that this custom menu items this object has this method set hide on click and we have set this to false because um, let me show you when you click on the on an option inside of a, uh, a menu the menu will disappear right but if we want to uh, you know to keep the menu visible for us and uh, once we click on on an option we can we need to set this set hide on click uh, set hide on click uh, property to false okay so that's why when i'm clicking on the on the text field i can type on it and it will be visible always okay okay so that's the uh, the custom menu item and finally i want to show you how to add a separator to the menu so in this menu format here in this line we are adding the, the items and we are adding the check menu items first and then we are adding uh, a separator here with the class separator menu item that's how you will add this uh, this separator to the to the to the menu and then we are adding the submenu font okay we have here the submenu font and we are adding the radio buttons and the custom menu item here okay and this is the result that you will get okay. well so that's it for this video I hope you find it useful and don't miss the next part of this because we are gonna learn how to uh, invoke methods once we click on one of the options inside this this uh, this menu Okay, so thank you. Thank you everyone for watching this video and please don't miss the next video, the next part of these menu bar videos because we're going to review how to invoke methods when clicking on the options inside our menus. Okay, so please don't forget to like, subscribe and share and see you next time.